So the last thing we need to do now is to add the explosion and America runs on Duncan. Going to final movie, I'll hit command I and going to my files, I'll choose POW2 and then I'm going to choose the Duncan text.png. Now I think this is all going to take place at the last second of the movie. So I'll drag them both onto screen and I'll move them to second number five. And I can drag and snap or if they're both selected I can hit the open bracket by itself and it'll begin right at five seconds. I'll stretch them so they go beyond the six second mark we've got on our timeline. And what I'm going to do is start with the star shape. I'll make sure that it's in the right order. And at five seconds, I'll hit S for scale. Bring first keyframe in, reducing the scale to zero. And then I'm going to go to 515. And I'm going to make the scale large enough to fill the screen so none of the other movie below shows. So I'll change the position and the scale. I'm going to do the same thing with the Dunkin' Donut text. So now I'll select it. I'll hit S for scale, drop the first keyframe, reduce the scale to zero. And I'll put my playback head where the second keyframe for POW2 is, so that they scale at the same time. And now I'll scale that up to about 50%. And I'll fix the position on it. And I'll save. So if I was to preview just that area. Three, two, one. We now have the composition that we need. The last thing to do will be to use Media Encoder to export the movie.